Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 120. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Tricks 120 to 132. Hey, this is the same trick that we did in Excel Magic Trick 113, but we're going to do it a different way. The idea here is we want to highlight text that contains the word bed. So for instance, there we want that highlighted, say, red. Down here, red, but the rest of them not. Now in Excel Magic Tricks 113, we did it this way. We used the min, search, and the len functions. Uh, a fellow YouTuber pointed out, um, and actually this fellow YouTuber got this trick from the Mr. Excel discussion board, which, by the way, if you haven't been there, that's where the smartest people in the Excel world hang out. Let's just start with the search function. What does the search function does? It finds some text. So I'm going to say uh, what text to find? Bed. Within, I'm going to type a comma. And then within what text? This. And what the search returns is the um, position in the text string where the text bed starts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this, um, when it gets down here, it'll return the number 5. I'm going to close parentheses, control enter, and then I'm going to double click and send this down. Uh, why didn't that work? I'm going to hit F2. Notice I have the whole thing highlighted, and with the light colored cell at the top, I'm going to hit F2 in edit mode. Duh! That is not locked. I have to click right there and then hit the F4 key once and twice because I want it locked going down across the rows. Because I have the whole range highlighted and I'm in edit mode, now I can hold Control and Enter and I repopulate all of the cells with that new formula. So you can see here it's a 5, here it's a 5, but the rest uh, give us a value error. Now, what if we had a function that told us if uh, something was a number? Well, there is. It's called is number. So hit F2. And before the search, we'll just say is number. And this is uh, a true false. It just looks at the, uh, whatever argument it has here. And it says, is it a number, either true or false? Now, I've highlighted all of the cells. And I'm editing in the active cell. So I can hold Control and tap Enter and repopulate. False, 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 true. So that formula is uh, much easier and more efficient. Now I'm going to click in this top cell, hit F2, and I'm going to highlight that whole formula, Control-C, and then hit Escape. And now we're going to go do conditional formatting. Click in the top cell, Control-Shift-Down arrow to highlight it. I'm going to scroll back up. Now with conditional formatting, you always got to be aware of the active cell right there, because in memory, we're going to store that formula. Now in 2007, you go to Home, Styles, Conditional Formatting, and New Rule. In 2003, you go to Format, Conditional Formatting. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut that works in both versions, Alt-O-D. I'm going to say New Rule. I'm going to click right here on formula. And here's the uh, formula uh, box, control V. In 2003, you got to um, point in the dialog box, the very first text box, and use the drop down arrow and point to formula is. Now let's add some formatting. And I'm going to click some uh, red for fill. That's patterns in 2003. And then I'm going to click font, click on color, click white. Click OK, click OK. There's more OKs in 2007. And sure enough, that'll work. And you can see here that if we change this to PED, then those ones are, are highlighted. All right, we'll see you next trick.